Hi everyone, it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flicks Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking about weight and that's to do with me setting up the new Adventure 8 vehicle for the Hilux to supplement, to complement the Troopy. Now I was looking for something to weigh the Troopy and also the Hilux and I found online this. And this is the Caravan Weight Control. It's by Reich. As you've probably seen from previous videos, I've got six guiding principles to designing and setting up a four-wheel drive or camper van or whatever. And one of those major ones is weight. But weight has no meaning unless you've, it's relative to something and also that you can measure it. Now, getting home scales to, uh, to measure items is pretty easy because that goes up to about 120 kilograms. So we can measure things quite easily. Um, but measuring the vehicle weight, the options are either take it to a weighing station uh, and sometimes you have to pay, sometimes you don't. I was looking for something to weigh the Troopy and also the Hilux and I found online this. And this is the Caravan Weight Control. It's by Reich. Made in Germany, so it, I'm hoping that's going to be good quality. So when you open up the box you get some instructions in multiple languages and also this is the device now i've already used it a number of times on the car testing it out and that's the reason why it's so dirty normally it would be this beautiful orange color it works on some electronics and these are the pressure pads here and you basically put it on the ground and you drive your tire over the top and then there's a number of controls there before i go through the controls i did actually get a a marker and I just colored that in and that happens to be the midpoint between the two sensors so when I place this just in front of the tire of the car then I'm just lining that up with the center of the tire so it go the tire goes evenly across that. All right as far as operation is concerned um, we've got the on off button and then a display comes up you can change that display depending on what you're measuring. Right now I'm measuring a vehicle and therefore it's showing something that represents a vehicle there with a flashing light there on the front left. And then as you take measurements you can then press that button there and you do uh, rear left, uh, front right and rear right measurements. If you press it again it just takes you back to the beginning. Or if you turn it off it goes back to zero and you're back to the last program. Now you can also measure trailers uh, whether it be single axle or also dual axle. To change the program there's three programs you just press both of those and now you can see that it's a double axle so you've got two wheels there, two wheels and the ball uh, weight there. Press both buttons again and uh, you go down to a single axle so it's measuring the tow ball weight and then left wheel and right wheel and it actually adds all those up to give you the total weight okay so we'll just change the program to a vehicle so we're going to be measuring the left front the instructions say that you've got to have a flat hard surface and you've got to drive over very slowly and carefully uh, to get a consistent result. Uh, the unit has to stabilize in the environment that you're operating in as far as temperature is concerned because the sensors are sensitive to temperature change. It advises us to wait for three, five minutes for everything to stabilize and then you can get on with the measurement. So that's what we're going to do now. I did take the Troopy to the weigh station yesterday, so we know the weight that the weigh station said, and we'll see what weight and what readings we get from this.
total weight is 3347 which is about um, 100 kilograms difference to what I was getting at the weigh station so 100 kilograms I think is within the tolerance period tolerance level of this scale the accuracy of this is 3% times by 0.03 <laughs> That gives you a figure of 100 kilograms. So, okay, it's gonna. This is good for a guide. It'll give you a guide for roughly where your vehicle is as far as weight is concerned. But it could have a variance of up to three percent. So, on my weight, which is around 3,400 kilograms, that represents about 100 kilograms variance. Um, I will continue to use this. It gives me a good reference point, and I find that by doing five measurements on each tyre, averaging out between the five, I probably get a pretty good accurate reading, I would say. Um, so that's one way to overcome the variance in the weights. I noticed the weigh station that I went to also had a plus or minus uh, weight of 20 kilograms. So anyway, the long and the short of it is that's at 3,400 kilograms. That has significant meaning to me. The gross weight that that vehicle is supposed to carry, is designed for, is 3,300 kilograms. So theoretically I'm already 100 kilograms over. Um, the Hilux is um, designed to operate at gross weight of 3,000 kilograms, three tons. What I'm finding is with four-wheel driving and with four-wheel drives, um, it doesn't take long before you go way over the theoretical limit of the weight that the vehicle is supposed to be carrying. We'll cover that in another video, but anyway, that's the something to consider. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. If this video has been useful, uh, do like and uh, please subscribe. Um, your support is welcomed and is needed for YouTube creators, obviously. So welcome your support and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.